Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's David, and today I have for you a tag video. Uh, this is one that was started by my good friend Beth at Miss 80s Movies and Music. Uh, she collaborated with Brandon at uh, Mr. Hall of Fame, one of the founding members of the vinyl community, and they have come up with the movie soundtrack tag redo. Uh, there was one going around a couple years ago and Beth has since started a couple new channels and she wanted to just kind of breathe new life into this tag. So she's got some new questions as well as some old questions. There's 20 in total. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into this. Uh, the first question is, how many soundtracks do you own? Uh, I don't have a definitive number. If I had to guess, I would say it's between 100 and 200. Uh, yeah, I don't have a, probably closer to 150, I guess. Uh, I know that in the past couple of years, my vinyl purchases have primarily been soundtracks and scores. I would say 75% of what I've bought in the last two years has been soundtracks and scores. So uh, it's ever growing as we speak. Uh, question two, what was the first soundtrack you ever bought? Uh, I remember Footloose was big when I was a kid. That came out in 84 and I was seven and I certainly didn't buy that. Um, my aunt probably owned it on cassette. Um, I remember listening a lot to Young Guns 2, but that was my brother's. He had it on cassette. I want to say the first soundtrack I ever bought was uh, probably Wayne's World. Um, that came out in 92, and that's about the time that I started subscribing to Columbia House and BMG uh, using different aliases. <laughs> So uh, I distinctly remember getting Wayne's World on CD as one of the first CDs I ever owned. So yeah, I'm going to say Wayne's World. Uh, question three. Uh, the most recent soundtrack purchase you added to your collection, uh, new or used? I received three in the mail today uh, from Vres Saraband. They are as follows. Penny Dreadful. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, this is an album I just purchased that's not soundtrack. Uh, Gremlins, the new batch, Gremlins 2, and uh, Game of Thrones. So those are the three newest soundtracks that I've added to my collection. Question four, uh, what is your most listened to soundtrack? Uh, I pulled this one, I've listened to it quite a bit. Uh, it is the soundtrack to Spider-Man 3. I I've listened to all the Spider-Man soundtracks. They've featured some artists I really like. This one features uh, Snow Patrol, who I really like, The Killers, the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs, uh, Wolf Mother, um, Black Mountain, Flaming Lips, um, Jet, who I'm a big fan of. So yeah, I've listened to this quite a bit. And I've listened to the first uh, two Spider-Man soundtracks a lot too, so sticking with it, Spider-Man. Uh, question five. Best opening song to a soundtrack. Uh, I had this soundtrack. I wasn't able to find it to pull it. But my favorite opening track on a soundtrack, I'm assuming I can use soundtrack and score interchangeably, is the theme to Batman by Danny Elfman. Uh, I just have always loved that uh, composition. Uh, it's just, when I think of Batman, I, I, that's what I hear in my head. I don't hear the na 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 Batman. I hear the da 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 na na na. That's what I hear in my head. So, 
That is the best opening to a soundtrack. Uh, question six, who is your favorite soundtrack score composer and your favorite composition by them? Uh, one of my favorite composers is Hans Zimmer. And I really love the track uh, Cavaliers de Sangre All, which was featured first in the Da Vinci Code. Um, I can't find that on vinyl, uh, but there is a variation of that featured on the Angels and Demons soundtrack. So Hans Zimmer is my favorite composer, and my favorite song that he's done is the Cavaliers de Sangre All. Uh, question seven, a movie that has a lackluster soundtrack. The Exorcist. I like the Tubular Bell song, but the rest is a lot of just weird orchestrations and it just sounds like chaos, which I guess fits the movie, but not something I can listen to on a regular basis, so... I'm going to go with The Exorcist. Uh, question eight. A soundtrack that was way better than the movie. Uh, oh, easy. I pulled... Ugh. Wonder Woman 84. I did not like this movie at all. But I love the music that Hans Zimmer composed. Um... Uh, very good stuff. Uh, I did a video recently that featured one of the tracks, but uh, this soundtrack is definitely way better than the movie itself. So, Wonder Woman 84. Uh, my favorite artwork, uh, jacket or colored variant. <laughs> Silence of the Lambs. I uh, love the artwork on this. I mean, you got the Death Heads moth, you've got the diamond, which was the pattern that Buffalo Bill used to cut off the skin uh, as he was making his skin suit. It's got an awesome vinyl variant. Love that variant. And it's got a cool uh, jacket, or I'm sorry, gatefold picture. Silence of the Lambs is my favorite artwork, jacket, and color variant. So that was question number nine. Uh, question number 10, a soundtrack that needs to be reissued or get a first time pressing on vinyl. Uh, I'm going to go with one that's not been pressed on vinyl. Uh, it is the soundtrack to the Great Expectations. Uh, it was a movie that starred Gwyneth Paltrow and Ethan Hawke, as well as Robert De Niro. Um, I love that soundtrack. Uh, there's a song called Life in Mono that I really love off that soundtrack. Uh, it also features Scott Weiland on there uh, doing his song, Lady Your Roof, It Brings Me Down. Uh, just a cool soundtrack that needs to be issued on vinyl. So, great expectations. Uh, 11, a bargain bin soundtrack. Uh, this is one I just picked up this past week. It was only four bucks, and it is the Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack. Uh, Primarily got it for the Axel F song, performed by uh, Harold Faltermeyer. Love that song. Uh, I don't have the score to this, but don't really need it, because that's really the only song that I want is Axel F. So, Beverly Hills Cop. Uh, Twelve, a soundtrack that includes your favorite band or artist. <clears throat> Uh, this was a documentary that Dave Grohl put out on Sound City. It was a recording studio. Uh, he recorded a lot of songs with some uh, artists. And my favorite band is the Black Rebel 
Motorcycle Club, and they are the lead-off track on this uh, soundtrack. It's uh, Heaven and Hell featuring Robert Levon Bean, Dave Grohl, and Peter Hayes. So Sound City is my favorite uh, soundtrack that includes my favorite band. Uh, question 13. A soundtrack where an actor from the movie also performs a track on the album. I'm going with Popeye. Robin Williams and Shelley Duvall both sing in the movie and they are featured on the soundtrack. So I hope that answers that question. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, question 14. A soundtrack where a band or artist actually performs in the movie. I could pull Wayne's World again. Yeah, I'm gonna pull Wayne's World again. Alice Cooper is in the movie and he's also performing in the movie. So, Wayne's World, Alice Cooper. That's probably cheating, but <laughs> that's all I have. Uh, question 15. The last movie you watched that you also have a soundtrack for. Uh, the last movie I saw in theaters was Halloween Kills. Beth already showed that. Uh, but before that, the last movie I saw was uh, A Quiet Place 2. And here is the soundtrack for that. This was put out by uh, Mondo. And features music by uh, Marco Beltrami. So, A Quiet Place 2. Um, a record store day soundtrack or score. This is one I picked up at record store day last year. This is for The Matrix. This is for, um, songs from The Matrix 1, 2, and 3. So, happy to have that. Uh, let's see here. A soundtrack, uh, from the year you were born. Uh, I know I pulled it. Where is it? Oh, here it is. 1977's The Exorcist 2, The Heretic. Crappy movie and not the greatest soundtrack either, if I'm being honest. So, The Heretic. Uh, soundtrack score that was a blind buy. This was a blind buy. It was on sale at Barnes & Nobles. Uh, I'm not the biggest Ramones fan, but I do like the song Blitzkrieg Bop, which was featured on this. It's also got PJ Souls singing a track on this. Uh, Rock and Roll High School. It's got Devo. Uh, it's got Brownsville Station doing Smoking in the Boat in the Boys Room. And you got Alice Cooper doing School's Up. So, Rock and Roll High School. And if this was, a, uh, I think... A Barnes and Noble sell like twenty five percent off, maybe or maybe half price, but it came on a cool looking final variant there. So yeah, that was a blind buy. I have enjoyed listening to it. So there's that response. Uh, question nineteen: uh, soundtrack that you own on multiple formats. I didn't really buy a lot of soundtracks on CD. I mean, I guess Wayne's World would be one that I have both on CD and vinyl and digitally. Uh, but you know, I don't want to show the same album again. So I'm going to go with Dracula. Um, I have two versions of this on vinyl. I own it digitally. Um, I, of course, own the movies. And I have a soundtrack of this on CD, or had one at one point, so I'm going to go with Dracula. Love this soundtrack. Um, just very moody, and uh, this particular album came out, I think, late last year, but it came on a very cool red and black splatter.
So, number 19, a soundtrack you own on multiple formats. And the last question, a uh, soundtrack that always lifts your mood. Soundtrack that always lifts my mood. Hmm, I didn't pull one for that. Uh, soundtrack that always lifts my mood. I really enjoyed the I Am Sam soundtrack. It was a record store day exclusive. Um, it just features people doing cover songs of Beatles songs from the movie I Am Sam with Sean Penn. Great stuff. You got Sheryl Crow on there, I believe. You had the Wallflowers. Um, ben Harper's on there. Just some very cool versions of some classic Beatles songs. So I Am Sam always lifts my spirits when I listen to that. So there you have it, Beth. Those are my responses to the movie soundtrack tag redo. Hope you enjoyed those. Um, there was a bonus where you could shout out other channels that love soundtracks that might do a response to this. Um, Beth already shouted out Cody, but I'm gonna tag him as well. So now he feels double the pressure um yeah I, I mean splattered plastics another channel that i subscribe to that does mostly horror soundtracks so uh tin man and liam if you watch this tag your it oh you know what i'm gonna tag my friend eric at last venom 76 eric tag you are it uh love to see your responses to beth's movie soundtrack tag i know you collect a lot of vinyl as well so there you go I'm tagging Cody at h and Collectibles, Tin Man and Liam at Splattered Plastic, and Eric at Last Venom 76. Hope you all are doing well, and until next time, take care. Thanks.